I'm in Battle Creek Park, just off of Ruth Street, and I'm headed to North McKnight Road to the eastern end of Battle Creek Park. Now we're going from Ruth Street to North McKnight Road. There's some signs here. And they're the same signs if you've watched my previous video. I walked from Upper Afton Road to Ruth Street. And these signs are the same signs on the other side of the road. But I'll put them at the end of this video as well. But anyways, this trail is part of Battle Creek Park. It's taken us from the west end. Some people call it Battle Creek West. Kind of the west and southern end of Battle Creek. And then it's split up by some houses. And then you have the east end. Sometimes I hear it referred to as North Battle Creek. But I don't see it say that on Google Maps or anything. But the other end, Google Maps does refer to part of it as Battle Creek West. But we're heading towards the eastern end on the northernmost trail of Battle Creek Park. This trail's kind of off by itself. It cuts through the houses. But it does have quite a bit of trees between you and the houses. And you can't really hear the traffic and, except when you're over there at the entrance on Roof Street and the entrance to Upper Afton Road and North McKnight Road's a pretty big road, so it'll probably have quite a bit of traffic too once we get up there. Now in the previous video, all that part of the trail was new. But this trail, I've only walked on it just a little bit. I've never went all the way through, but they didn't redo this part. So this part's how it has been. We got a bridge. It looks pretty similar to the bridge in the other one, so I don't know if they rebuilt that bridge over there new or if they just refurbished it, but it's looking like they just refurbished it because it's just like this one. Might be a little bit newer with the metal where this one's a bit rusty, I don't remember. There's the little bridge plate. Yeah, this looks like the bridge on the other side, so they probably just sandblasted that other bridge, made it look clean again. But I know they redid the trail in the previous video. This trail ain't too bad, but it's not brand new. We don't have all that black fencing up on this end because they didn't do any construction over here. The dams are a little bit bigger. I've seen them before, but I wasn't pointing them out because they're pretty small and mostly hidden by the snow, but this one we can see. And we can see where the water was flowing over it. There is a little pool of water there. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but I can hear the water, so there is water flowing there. It's spilling over inside that little blob of ice. <clears throat> oh, another bridge. We're going to go back across the creek again. This path has walked pretty heavily. This goes to a street up over there, I'm pretty sure. It's like Larry Ho Drive. Okay. 
here's the second bridge on this part of the trail. Overall, we've crossed the creek three times if you count this video and the previous video on this northern trail over here. Oh, there's a little patch of open water down there. So the creek's getting more of a flow down there to have the water open. There's probably more water. Which makes sense because we're heading towards the, the ponds that's feeding this creek. As we go this way, there should be more and more water. I'm seeing more signs of it. Can't really see houses up over there, but we got a hillside up over there. But we're getting close to some apartments over here. Got another little bench. I can see the water flowing inside that that ice. I don't know if the camera's quite picking it up, but I can see the ice and the bubbles going through that blob of ice over that dam. In the spring, or more closer to summertime, once all the leaves turn green you probably can't hardly see it but a little path through there and what is that it's North Park Drive so North Park drives on the north side of us which are really close to it right now but we're turning away from it Not sure how much farther it is, but I think we're getting fairly close to the end of this trail and the other end of Battle Creek Park where the ponds are and they have a water park over there. I found some muskrats in their ponds once. I have a video of that somewhere. Well, that tree caught that tree. Otherwise, oh, it'd be laying on our trail right now. Not sure how long it'll stay up there. Long enough for me to go under it, though. This end of the trail twists and winds quite a bit. Thought we we're coming up on the street, but I guess I was wrong. Still going. Still got looks like a whole bunch of apartment complexes over there. And then on that side, through the trees, it's houses on that side. And the creek's still down on this side of us.
It didn't feel like we climbed all the elevation, but we're sure heading downhill now. Oh, we got another bridge in front of us and then North McKnight Road. Well, the creek's really open down here, and there's a bunch of ducks over there. Can you see the ducks down there? Down in the water. We got waterproof boots on, but I might just slip and fall on my ass, and my pants ain't waterproof. Got another bench. This one's really close to the entrance. Oh, and there's another bench right at the entrance of this trail, right on the other side of the bridge. Here's the creek again. Battle Creek, if I didn't mention that, we're we're in Battle Creek Park, but Battle Creek Regional Park, but this creek is also called Battle Creek. And from here there's some more ducks down there. But it flows under the road and on the other side the park opens up and is big and wide over here, but it connects to a pond and there's a bunch of ponds. Maybe they're lakes, but they're pretty small, so I think they're ponds. It just doesn't have a thing going straight across. The entrance to the park is up there or down over there, so you kind of got to pick which way you want to go to get a nice crossing. We got the same signs that were on the entrance of the other end. I already took pictures of those, so I think I'll just use those. The only real difference is now you got a sign for swimming and that must be for playground because there's a, and parking. There's parking lots and there's a playground over there and there's lake or there's a, not a lake, there's ponds, but there's a, a water park over there. But I'll walk through that in the next video. I'm going to get up over there to a good entrance on the other side of this dang road. So we'll see you then if you choose to watch the next video.